Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to this Mattel figure review and it is for Naomi Basic. Now this is a uh, new Basic but I knew I needed to get this review done because they've started to ship them with Slammy Awards. So I want to tell you a little bit about Naomi, I want to tell you a little bit about the Slammy Awards. Uh, we're just going to go straight into this review because there's a lot to talk about. Uh, Naomi, uh, oh, Naomi is really frustrating, right? Because she keeps changing her gimmick and by the time that Mattel have actually sculpted and manufactured a figure for Naomi, she then moves on to something else. So now she's doing this whole feel the glow, you know, kind of glowing in the dark, fantastic entrance. And we don't have a figure for that. What we've got is a figure for when she was in Team BAD, Team Bad. Uh, this is Naomi from 2015, uh, when that kind of women's revolution was really starting, or I think Divas Revolution, as they were calling it at the time. Um, so, yeah, this is like old attire now, but... Uh, still a cool figure. I think still got a good face scan and everything. We'll talk all about that. Let me just tell you a little bit about Naomi. Uh, she came second on season three of NXT before NXT was a weekly show uh, that was like its own brand. It used to be like a reality show, a, a talent show, like Tough Enough. And each week they would set them like competitions and like tasks and you'd have someone get eliminated and so on, so on, so on. Well, Naomi came uh, second in season three. Not only that, uh, she was the first ever FCW Divas champion, uh, which I think is quite a big honour. Uh, FCW was NXT before it became NXT. So she was the first Divas champion for, for FCW. Um, she uh, joined the main roster uh, in around about 2012, I think it was, and uh, she became a Funkadactyl uh, along with Cameron. And uh, largely she was just like uh, bringing Brodus Clay to the ring and uh, like dancing around. You know, she, she is a former dancer for I think I'm right in saying it's, it's, a, it's an NBA team and I don't want to get it wrong. I won't say. I can't remember. Uh, it could be like Orlando Magic or Miami Heat. I can't remember who it is, uh, but it was for an NBA team anyway. And uh, yeah, she's also been like a backing dancer for Flo Rida, uh, believe it or not. Um, and uh, yeah, so after the Funkadankles? Uh, what the hell is a Funkadankle? After the Funkadactyls broke up, uh, she then started wrestling on a regular basis. And uh, by 2015, uh, she's obviously kind of leading Team Bad, which was Naomi, Sasha Banks, and uh, Tamina Snooker. Um, and then since then, she's been drafted to SmackDown, and uh, now she's doing the whole Feel the Glow. Um, and she's really cool. She's one of the better in-ring performers, very agile. Um, you know, she's got some nice kind of uh, moves and spots that she can do in the ring. Uh, she's got a strong entrance, good look. I, I really like Naomi. I'm a big fan of Naomi. So that's Naomi. Let's talk about the Slammies. So the Slammies, right, started in 1986. Uh, they did them again in 87, but then they didn't do them again until 1994. Then I think they had a year off and they did them in 96 and 97. And then they went away for a long time, came back in 2008. And they've done them every year since 2008 um there's been some really interesting results with the slammies and and i gotta say when i think of slammies i think of owen hart owen hart always you know he won slammy for biggest rat of the year in 94 and he went around showing everyone bringing it to the ring carrying it with him like everywhere he went he treated it like a title and uh and he was so proud of it and he really for me he made the slammies like he made the Slammies seem important because he loved that award uh, or awards. I know he won a few over the years. Um, Naomi's won a Slammy, best dance moves in 2013. So uh, that is actually accurate. Uh, she did get it in 2013. There's been a few uh, interesting results, as we said. Mean Gene Oakland beat Vince McMahon to best commentator in 1986. George the Animal Steel won Best Animal, uh, he beat Matilda, the Bulldog, for the British Bulldogs, Frankie, 
uh, Coco Beware's Bird um, and Damien, I think it was, Jake the Snake Snake. Um, but George the Animal Steel uh, won that one. I think that was 87. Uh, Neville last year uh, beat Kevin Owens, Charlotte, Tyler Breeze and Braun Strowman uh, to be named as the best newcomer of 2015. Which, you know, he did have a pretty hot year. Um, so I can't argue with it. But certainly looking back now, you'd probably argue Kevin Owens is uh, maybe a slightly bigger breakout star. Um, Charlotte as well. And Braun Strowman's getting that way. So, yeah, there'll be more Slammies, I'm sure, this year. Uh, they've, as I say, they've done them every year since 2008. And they're to be taken with a pinch of salt. They're not, they're, they're not serious, serious. Um, they're not like the Oscars or anything. But, I, man, it's so cool that Mattel are making them and putting them in with figures. Um, and they're just, like, random in with figures as well. Like, do you remember... Um, in fact, if I find my, I have still got them down here, Eva Marie. So they were giving away these belts before for free. Like with certain ones, if you found them in the shops and it had the belt, then that was a, a nice little bonus. Um, so yeah, that's my only belt actually like that. I probably should try and find another. But this year they're giving away the Slammy Awards, uh, which I just think is so cool. Really cool. It's just a real shame there isn't an Owen Hart figure because it would just be absolutely perfect. So, right, that is it about the Slammys. That is it about Naomi. Let's have a look at the Slammy and Naomi figure and accessory. Uh, on the back, those are all the ones that are in this series of basics. Um, we've got the JBL one that we still need to do a review of. Uh, Luke Harper's really cool. Xavier's all right. Cesaro's good. Gold Dust is an elite on the way, so I'm going to wait. Randy Orton, John Cena, get them on a regular basis anyway, so not that bothered. And as we said, this is women's division, um, which is uh, new. Well, yeah, relatively new. It used to say Divas, and obviously they got rid of that. So let's get it open. Should be nice and quick because it's just the basic. Boom. Feels a little bit fragile. Ah, oh, that is awesome. I didn't really... That is awesome. That is a cheeky little secret. So you've got your Naomi figure. And look at the length of her hair. Look at this. That is amazing. I wasn't expecting that. I thought they'd cut it up here or something. But that goes right down her back. That is really cool. And then you've got like the different coloured uh, soles to the shoes. Yellow on that one. Blue on that one. Because uh, obviously her shoes used to light up. I think they still do, actually. Um, across the back of her ring attire, it just says Naomi. Um, and then there's a couple of, like, logos across the uh, top and her knee pads, uh, which match her kind of wrist tape as well. Uh, but I'm really impressed with the hair. I think the face scan on that is really cool. Um, I really like it. The Slammy is absolutely amazing. That is an amazing accessory, like the detail, the way that the guy's hand is like dangling at the back and um, it's not very heavy. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's that bottom bit, for example, is hollow, as you would expect. But that is, I just think that's really cool. What's annoying, though, is obviously she hasn't got hands to actually hold the slammy. I mean, I might be able to, can I shove her hand through that bit there? I don't know. She can kind of... She can kind of, actually. Um, so, yeah, the, the Slammy accessory, I think, is absolutely fantastic. I am really into that. The Naomi figure's got a nice surprise. Um, I'm going to say, like, it's a bit... The, the attire's a little bit dull, but uh, certainly compared to what she's wearing now, um, you know, her team bad attire was never anything special. Uh, I can't really fault Mattel for that, but... I don't know it's it's not like a, a really exciting figure um, but the slammy really does make it exciting so for me for the money this is a Ty Dillinger 10 out of 10 but that's only because I got one with a slammy the figure on its own I'm gonna give a nine awesome guys thanks a lot for watching uh, if you like this video please give it a like hit the subscribe if you haven't already and hopefully I'll see you again next time 
Bye for now. Don't you drop that award. Uh, that'll do. There we go. Look at that. Naomi with her best dance moves 2013, Slammy. <laughs> the big one. That's the one everyone wants to win.